Hi. This is a motor control warehouse is custom designed and built. A little control panel for a conveyor. Now this conveyor will be going in a warehouse. Um, this is a um, conveyor that's fed by a little 0.37 kilowatt three phase motor. Okay, and that will feed then onto a gravity conveyor. Now the system is designed um, such that on the door we've got the healthy lamp, power on lamp, we've got a start and stop, you've got an e-stop, a reset, a potentiometer, and an interlocking isolator. If we open up the, the door of the panel, we can see we've got a little Inmatec OptiDrive E3 inverter, 24 volt DC power supply, two contactors in series to remove power from the drive in an e-stop condition. We've got a little smart relay, some MCBs, control relay, DIN terminals for the connections, and a little interlocking isolator again. Okay, now for the purposes of demonstration, I've also got a little box here with a couple of lamps on. Now, this system, when the, the drive is running, um, there is a, a blade at the end that needs to come down to allow the the boxes etc that are on the conveyor to pass through but when it's stopped we need to bring that um, that blade up um, to stop anything from from coming through so just for now the, the solenoids that are doing the up and the down we've just for testing purposes used this couple of LEDs just to replicate so this is our upper LED and this is our down LED okay now the way the system is designed is that when we're running um, we want to make sure that the gravity conveyor below isn't blocked. If it becomes blocked, we need to stop the system. In order to do that, we've used an IFM proximity sensor. So this will measure up anything um, within 300 mil of the, the lens will turn the, the sensor on. And that will give us an input back into our smart relay to tell us that there's, there's something blocking the way. So as I move my hand in front of it, you can see the little LEDs come on. And that then is sending 24 volts back up into the PLC. Okay, if I start the system just with the start button, and as long as the conveyor is clear, after a couple of seconds, you'll see the um, motors turning and also the down solenoid as well will have activated. So that blade will have come down, the conveyor's running, and it'll carry on. If a tray or a box were to just pass by the sensor, you'll see the conveyor carries on running, but if something continuously blocks it for adjustable time, um, then it will stop the motor and the up solenoid will act activate. Now, after a couple of seconds of it being clear again, which that time is adjustable, um, the conveyor will start again. So that just gives you time just to clear the blockage and that can be adjusted from the display on the smart relay. The speed of the inverter, then is adjustable from the speed part on the front of the cabinet and if I hit the e-stop you'll see everything stops power is moved from both solenoids in order to reset it's just turn the key and press the reset button you'll also notice because the power has gone off the healthy light as the e-stop has been pressed sorry the healthy light is gone if I press the reset button that'll reset the e-stop the healthy light will come back um, and then if I press start again, after a couple of seconds of this being free, we're up and running again. Okay, and that concludes our, our video.